And so I want to do something that's like pretty safe today so we can just get it up and not worry. So let's do, um, I wanted to do River Phoenix really fast. He was an actor, so I was pretty young. I grew up like 80s and 90s, but he was kind of like the Johnny Depp of our generation. And if they didn't hang out, I feel like they definitely did, but he died of an overdose. And back then, when someone died of an overdose, you just took everyone's word for it because people weren't getting suicided by shooting themselves in the chest and then jumping off of a bridge or hanging themselves quite like they are today. So I just want to tap into River Phoenix, see what his energy is, see what they say, and then um, go from there. I want to do a few of these today. I am about to babysit. So with that being said, please do your own research, come to your own conclusions. Um, there are no facts here. This is all allegedly. And I have two cards just jumped out. I haven't even asked questions, so I'm going to put them back in. I'm using the regular Rider Waite um, tarot deck, and I love them. Um, but let's just tap into River Phoenix and see what was going on. Um, you can Google them to find out more, but River Phoenix. What was going on? All right. The underlying energy is the magician. So we'll see. We have the Ace of Cups, King of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. So, Aces are always new beginnings. So, Ace of Cups is a new beginning. It could be like a new idea. Um, the King of Swords. I feel like he was probably the breadwinner for his family. Um, the Magician. Well, first of all, this is, this is automatically suspicious. Um, I don't know about an underlying energy of the Magician. The Magician is like, it's just what it sounds like. It's also a new beginning. Um, so the King of Swords, he might have been his family's breadwinner. He was good at his job. I feel like he was his family's breadwinner. Um, he was a master of his trade, so that's the Eight of Pentacles. He works hard and he plays hard and he gets it. Then we have the Ten of Swords. What does that tell you? It's in reverse, so technically these swords could be falling out, but it's also like uh, betrayal, death. I mean, this guy is not walking away from this. And then we have the nine of cups in reverse. So it's like empty cups, empty promises, empty foundation. This is um, an emotional card. I feel like he was like a Leo or an Aries, like a fire sign. This was upside down. So I, I'm going to pull some more cards. Oh, the High Priestess is the other underlying energy. Oh, and the Queen of Pentacles. What's his mom's story? Oh, and the Hierophant. Um, what's his mom's story? I don't think his parents were together. The High Priestess is like, she's your intuition and she is, she's your ride or die. She won't tell anyone anything. The queen of pentacles. Uh, that's why I was asking what his mom's story is. If she, I don't know if she was, is she a good person? I don't know. Then we have the hierophant. Um, if anyone knows about their family, were they involved in like a cult? I 
I wonder what his family's life brain, upbringing was. I feel like he was the breadwinner and they were super dependent on him, like for everything. I also feel like if it wasn't a cult, there was something that they were involved in that they took higher direction from. Um, then we have the f five of pentacles. Five is chaos. These people look like they're outside in the cold. So they probably were poor. And then they met the magician who I feel like, we also have the Hierophant here. So the Hierophant is like any entity that, I mean, it could be a Catholic church. I'm not getting churchy vibes, I'm getting cult vibes. Uh, la, la. There was a lot of chaos in this family. The Ace of Cups too. He was super smart. We have the Four of Cups, and that's upright. Um, can you see all these? I think that there is definitely chaos in this family. Three of Wands. Um... Okay, this is what I think. The Three of Wands in reverse. So what I think is that he was super smart. His mom was like a hippie or something, I think. Like they were involved in some kind of, and I don't want to say nefarious because I don't think her intention wasn't nefarious. I think they were involved in like a, if they, you know, lived in California and they like went, I don't know where they lived, but I'm guessing it, they moved to California whenever he got famous or somehow he got, they got out there. There's a king of swords. I don't think that there's a, well, first of all, he's cold. It's AF and he, oh, this is all allegedly my opinion. Please do your own research. He, um, the king of swords is cold. Um, he's not like warm and inviting. He also is like the king of swords because he might have earned his way there, which like doesn't necessarily mean like the most virtuous ways. The thing that's really stumping me here is this Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is like, I think moving out to Hawaii or um, uh, Hollywood with like the promise of a new life and a new beginning. And it was like very exciting. I don't know how he was found, found as an actor. I don't know if it was like he was walking in the mall or what, but there was a lot of big promises made by a, a very powerful man that might not have had, might have had nefarious intentions. They were used to being poor and working really hard. I don't know if it was the father that was the one that was, I think he, this looks like a lot of feminine energy. There's a lot of masculine energy on here too, but it's not necessarily good energy. I think that what happened was they were promised a lot that didn't come through. I think they were like promised the world. I don't think oh, that he was given everything that he was promised. The Wheel of Fortune, they took a chance. They moved out to Hollywood, they took a chance. They spun the wheel and didn't end up well for them. I know he has a little brother who's still an actor. Um, the Hanged Man. I don't think they knew what to do either. If this was a health reading, I would say, well, pentacles are bones. Cups are fluid, so it's anything water. I wonder what an OD looks like on cards. Something nefarious, I feel like something nefarious happened here. And I feel like we're never gonna find out what it was. 
High Priestess doesn't tell her secrets. But we have the Hanged Man. Some people think it's a new perspective, and that's cute. Um, I feel like it's... Well, he's hanging. It's no. Ch it's like you don't have free choice. He's hanging by a tree that he didn't hang himself to. So, yeah, you're getting a new look, but you're not doing it out of free will. I think they were used to living destitute. And that's like promise of money was so much, but it didn't come through. They didn't get what they were promised. Yeah, all their pentacles were gone. You know what we could do? King of Cups. So there's two king cards here. I wonder if he had a strong father figure or if this was like, what's his name that we're not allowed to say? Um, I wonder if this was like a Harvey situation, promising the world cult-like king of cups and king of swords. Mm, might have been. I mean, this is hard work. This is the nine of, or 10 of wands. This is like about to have a mental breakdown. He's carrying all the weight. Broken promises, two of cups. I'm gonna put that on the king. That prayer. It was, it was, it was. Yeah, we nailed that part. So you can name this Harvey, just like in Suits, the name Harvey. I would say that this emperor, mm, Yes, I would say that it was a hoodwink situation. It just doesn't feel right. There's something off here. Broken promises. Oh. La la la. All their pentacles are gone. So like they, whatever money they brought in, they didn't. Three of cups, this is all in reverse. This is a broken, like, yeah, let's do this. Let's move out there. It's all broken. It's all gone. Um, did anything nefarious happen here? I'm going to drop them once. If they don't want to read on top, I'm going to clear this energy and start over. Did anything nefarious happen here? Well, <laughs> yes, I did. And we have the Empress. So this is the Four of Swords. People think this is like rest and relaxation. And I think that's really cute. That guy's laying on a coffin and he is laying on a sword and he has a sword going into his throat, uh, into his neck and into his head. So what was the other one? The Empress. This, this is where I split it. So, gosh, yes, this was like, I would say, I'm going to clear these. Um, yeah, I would say this was nefarious. Someone like a Harvey from Suits, the actor, um, might have been involved. There were a lot of broken promises. His, they were caught up in the idea of Hollywood, which... I can't remember his name. He's dead now, but he was a, I think he was a Canadian doctor. And he, um, look up the meaning of Hollywood. It's like, it's magic. It's like Hollywood is the name of a tree from, I want to say this is the old Celts. But anyway, yeah, I would say that that was, I don't know, is there anything else that we should know? Oh, you know what we should do is an, a card from his angels. Um, as just like a, I'm sorry, River. So we didn't get any, I don't know. I should look into this more. Um, let's get some angel cards for River Phoenix. Hmm. 
This is a dress rehearsal. Oh, that's so awesome. So perfect for him. He's an actor. This is your alternative choice, or your alternative course and your choices. Um, I'm gonna look it up. Oh, I'm using these Doreen Virtue angel cards. I love them. Um, dress rehearsal. Do not delay in making the choice facing you. This is an auspicious moment to feel out an alternative course of action. Take time to sense your body's reaction to your current circumstances. Rehearse an option you would like, engage your physical reaction. Note the difference between your current life and your imagined scenario. Go with the choice that makes you feel happier, even if it's a seemingly difficult change. If you would like to try an alternative in the dress rehearsal dream, focus upon the relevant situation before falling asleep. Upon waking, notice how you feel in any message you receive during dream time. Additional meanings, you are being guided to change your course of direction as your current situation no longer serves you. Call upon your support system for help in this life change. Oh, that was really nice. Okay, team, I gotta go babysit. <laughs>